Hey, good morning channel. Got a couple of fun things to do today. Hey, good morning channel. Got a couple of fun things to do today. It is t-shirt weather in North Texas, yay, and riding weather. 68 degrees this morning, a little bit after seven. Um, but thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to install a Utopia backrest on my bike. I've done some research uh, on backrest. I settled on Utopia. We're gonna see how that goes and how it feels. And then, the very first oil change on my bike. It's a little over 600 miles on the bike right now. Bought it brand new three months ago. Um, we're past that break-in period, so uh, I'm going to change that break-in oil out. I know Honda suggests in the manual something like every 4,000 miles, but I just want to get that break-in oil out of there, get some new oil in, and get started, and I'll change the oil really on my schedule. Um, and I'll be a little more, I think, aggressive than the, than the owner's manual. So thanks for joining me. Got my coffee from Karmic Grounds, by the way, and uh, excited to get started. Thanks for joining me. All right, here's that Utopia backrest. Um, seems like a very good quality, very heavy duty. Comes with this cool pouch on the back. It's a zippered pouch. You can put things in. All the hardware. Looks like even the cover comes off. Zip unzips if you need to for whatever reason. Take the cover off. And some instructions. Uh, so I guess we'll get started. I know the first thing we have to do is take off that seat. Getting pretty good at taking off that seat. I've done it several times now. All right. Just to unpack some of the hardware here. It looks like we got the bracket that fits on. We got a bag full of goodies that helps it fit. And I noticed when I was fiddling with the backrest itself that this pouch on the back actually is Velcroed in. You can unvelcro it and it becomes this, oh, I don't know, man bag? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's meant that if you have anything valuable and you need to take it with you, you're going into a restaurant or whatever you can. I'm not sure I'll do that, but. Interesting that it comes off, Velcroed in. I'm gonna set it aside because we don't need it for the install. All right, let's get that seat off. All right, there's the. All right, there's the parts all laid out. Got the seat off. Let's get started. All right, got the seat off here. First thing we're gonna have to do. There's a plug built into this where a backrest will go in this seat. So we need to flip the seat over, take off the hardware and remove this plug. First thing you'll notice we turn the seat over is there's a little strap here holding this plug, part of this plug in. So we need to take this strap off. All right, once that strap is released on the underside, you can just work this, this thing straight out. Very simple. Next, there's a little angle iron with some Velcro on the top, and there's two small self-tapping screws. I don't know if you can see them in there, but um, this is just very flimsy, like rubbery plastic in here, so those screws go in very easy. Just need to install this so that the Velcro is flush with these little tabs that are on the inside of this enclosure here, so it's sort of level with all of that and just, uh, you don't have to over tighten it, just get it in there sturdy. Now let's flip the seat over. All right, now I've got the seat flipped over, got it braced underneath with the backrest itself just to give it some height so I can work on it. Um, we're gonna install these little T-nuts, there's four of them that come with it. And we're gonna put them, there's slots on the back of the bike that they fit in.
Yeah, they fit in, but they don't stay in. <laughs> Whoa. All right, this is interesting. Got that one in. That one there. This one here. And the fourth one here. Okay, there you go. Next, we're going to install the bracket. Screw it into these T-nuts. All right, this bracket goes into the seat. And so the long part of the bracket, it's got a short end over here and a long end. The long end goes towards the front of the seat. Got it upside down. That's the front of the seat. So it goes towards the front of the seat. And we're just going to slide it in this gap opening here. It's a little tight, so you got to give it a little push like that. And now it just screws into these uh, T bolts, T nuts, sorry, that we just uh, put in there. So let's do that. All right. First, they will, uh, I mean, you can put them in by hand just to get them started. Well, that one didn't work. That one fell down. All right, it's a bit of a trick getting that nut underneath, that T-nut, to stay up so that you can get the screw in there, but it's workable. I used one of these little picks to sort of get in underneath and hold the nut up while I screwed it in by hand. So now all of these are in there by hand. Going to come back with a 3 8 inch socket and tighten them down. All right, got those tightened down now. Next, we need to flip the seat over and put this little cover on top of the hole that we created on the, uh, on the upside of the seat. All right, I've sort of molded this. Um, it has a glossy side and a matte side. The matte is more decorative, obviously. The glossy side is meant to go down. And make sure that you're installing it so that the curvature of the plate matches the curvature of the hole. That means we're going to take the long flat side, which is towards the front of the seat, and we're going to slide it in here first. And then we're just going to work it over this bracket pull it down and then lift up on the edges of the template to get it on top of the mounting surface in there and then the velcro L bracket that we just installed we're going to push that down so that it adheres to that velcro bracket and then I think we are pretty well good to go just kind of bending it ahead of time get it into place Okay. All right, guys. Next step is to get this seat back on the bike. Let's do that. All right, before I get this seat back on, you know, not too long ago, I installed these uh, tail blazer brake modulators here. And they just, they don't like to lay down. So I'm going to take some, this is all plastic underneath. I'm going to take some gaffer tape and just tape this down. That way I'm not fighting with it every time I take the seat off and on. All right, that's much better. The left one over here was the one that always stuck up, so I just put some gaffer tape on it to hold it down. It's now nice and flat. The right one seems to lay flat without much trouble, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. And now let's get the seat back on. All right, got the seat back on. I just need to put the bolts back in. Got it fitted underneath. The tabs it slides into. I've got the nylon pegs pushed in. It's all back in place. Little pro tip from a non-pro. Every time you take the seat off, you're always having to take the seat heater assembly apart right here. It's much easier. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a brown connector that the whole assembly slides on. If you take it off that brown connector, it moves towards you. You can get it out and it comes apart 
much easier when it's out away from the bike. So take it off the little brown it's, uh, attachment there first, and then you can get it off better, get it apart better. Um, and then when you're putting it back together, you just snap the two pieces together and slide it back on that uh, attachment, and you're back in business. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, this 7 16 bolt and nut came out of this the bottom of the backrest here it was in this in this area it was slid in here so undo that you're going to place the seat over the connector down there line up the holes and we're going to reinstall that 7 16 inch bolt and nut using a ratchet and a wrench so i'm going to do that next all right i think i got that in there pretty tight it's flexible so it moves, rocks with it so it's going to hold it. Next we're going to adjust this little screw by loosening the nut down here with a 7 16 inch wrench and then it's got a 3 16 inch hex screw. We're just going to loosen that, adjust that and what that's going to do is change the angle. Right now the backrest is too far back. When I sit in my normal riding position it really doesn't come up against my back very much. So we're going to adjust the angle forward like that so that it is snug when I sit. And we do that through this screw right here. So this is going to be a little trial and error and I'll be back in a second. All right, you reinstall this little Velcro bag on the back and there you have it. It's adjusted to the right height. You can adjust the height using these screws here. There's several different hole height adjustments. As I said before, that screw there adjusts the angle of the backrest more towards the rider or away from the rider. I think I got it in the position I like, at least when I'm sitting here in the garage, but I'll have to actually take it out and ride it, see how it works. And see, that's why you take it out for a test drive. What felt okay here in the garage, once I was riding it, I realized it was too far forward. It was really pushing in my back, and I didn't feel like my butt was firmly seated in the back of the seat where it normally is. So, I'm going to adjust it back a little bit. You know, when this first got this bike, I thought the seat, the Honda seat, looked really cool. It's got this sort of suede look to it but man you can't throw especially for a short guy like me you can't throw your foot over without scuffing it up making little scuff marks and those are not buffing out I mean it it's a very thin suede and it seems like it's just I don't know marks that aren't going away if any of you have any secrets about getting those marks out feel free to let me know in the comments and also let me know if you're riding with a backrest which one did you choose did you choose the Utopia or the Honda brand. What are you using and how do you like it? All right, next on the agenda is to get the oil change. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it, but it'll be sometime this weekend and I'll put that video up next. Listen, I wanna thank you for joining me once again. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, but you like motorcycle content, and oh, by the way, some pretty fantastic photography content uh, click the subscribe button and the little bell. It'll notify you when I put something else out there. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it, and I appreciate it. It costs you nothing. I get nothing other than I get to share with you. So thank you, guys, and until the oil change video, ride safe, and God bless.